Hello and welcome back to some more Cricket 22 and another part of my Ashes series with England. Today we begin the first day of the second Test match and after the dramatic end to the last episode we are now ready to go Cricket in again and I really can't wait for the second Test match at the Adelaide Oval. I will be announcing the giveaway winner later in this video so make sure that you do stick around for it. So here we go. Uh, let's get into the action and uh, see how we get on. Uh, we are going to be editing the lineup because um, we're going to be bringing in Jimmy Anderson. Uh, and Jimmy Anderson is already in there by the looks of things. So we've got Rory Burns, Hasib Hamid, Milan, Root Stokes, um, Bairstow at six. Although I think we are going to swap Bairstow for. Ollie Pope and, and have Ollie Pope in there. Johnny Bairstow is, is going to come out of it and uh, we'll get Jack Leachy in there. Now we need to decide what we're, what we're going to do in terms of um, whether Jack Leach plays. Chris Walks, of course, has a little bit of value with the, the bat. Um, this is the, the big problem we have, really. Uh, I feel like we do need a spinner in there. Maybe we do just go with Joe Root, though. That's potentially what we do. And we try it without uh, a spinner and you know it wouldn't be the the only time in Australia that that sort of thing happens so yeah let's go with this squad and uh, get into the action straight away this is going to be an absolute cracker so without further ado let's start the match and get on with the second test match of the series Hello everyone and welcome to the Adelaide Oval. England took an unexpected win up in Brisbane and find themselves in the unusual position of leading the series heading into this day-night test match. Australia will need to get over that shot quickly if they want to level the series. I'm Mike Atherton and joining me for what should be an exciting contest is Mel Jones, Ali Mitchell, Ian Healy and the dashing David Gower. Well, others, thanks for that warm introduction. I, for one, am looking forward to the day's play. I've been down in the middle looking at conditions and the pitch has a pretty dusty top. It's likely to get very bowler friendly as the match progresses. We really couldn't have asked for a better day. The weather gods are smiling on us and there isn't a cloud in the sky. Great work, David. It's time for the toss. Let's join them pitch side to see who'll be batting first. Well, heads is the call. Oh, whoa. It, it's called tails. I, I pressed heads. Well, I mean, we've lost the toss now. What is going to happen? Then Australia they have chosen the bat, the which is probably what like I would have done as well. Certainly, it looks fair. like the conditions would favour um, the decision. The bowlers will need yeah, to keep things Yeah, here we go. Jimmy Anderson is going to have to be at his best. So, here we go. Into the match it is with a pink ball. Jimmy Anderson is going to bowl the first ball of the match. It's going to be a cracker. Good luck to both teams as we head towards that first delivery. Here we go. It's going to be Harris. That face is the first delivery to the one and only Jimmy Anderson, who returns today. Anderson has the ball in hand and will get us underway. Hopefully, so here he comes. Some swing and bang David Warner, in fact, facing the first on. ball. Right. Good piece of field. Driven away straight away by running. David Warner. Looking for a lot more swing in the air. This week. Wow, oh my goodness, that was uh, a Beautiful cracker of a delivery. delivery. Just hitting air on that one, that was just too good. That was just classic Jimmy Anderson. Yep. Well, that's uh, a good drive. So, not going to quite at the boundary just the two runs a couple on offer here did well just to get it down towards third for some runs right 
straight to the fielder. Maybe they didn't pick it up. Very late on the shot. Nice, solid defense. Oh, great shot. defensive shot. And tell you what, Warner struggled a little bit against Jimmy here. That's in the air. It's over the top. That's going to be four. But it could have quite a easily short, not horribly short. Lose the been a moment. Well and the hands even better. Yeah, just not quite the right length from Jimmy there. That second ball was the one that could have Big been the one. They've worked hard in recent weeks. They should have the confidence to build an innings and get big runs on the board. The right arm medium bowler is coming on to bowl on the city end. It was a good comeback after that boundary last ball. Stuart Broad will be trying his best to help out Jimmy from the you other end. understand why on that line they thought it was safe <coughs> to let him straight Pardon through me. the keeper. That was a wide though. Can't get that outside the ring field. Just through the shot too early. Nice one. A bit lucky that's just sailed through to the keeper. I'm gonna angle it in. See what we can do. Quick onto that in the infield. Good delivery there. No runs on that occasion. Got into position nicely, just too early on the shot. Couldn't find a gap. Oh, that's a wide. Surely that's going to be called a wide. Apparently it's not. Completely out of reach. It's me. Well, there's a bit of swing in the air. Yep, yep. No. Perfectly timed. They were expecting it that time. You can't Good shot, four shot. runs. Nicely played, and it was four runs all the way. End of the over. Five runs coming from it. Australia are 11 for none. Anderson from the Cathedral. Coming in. Couldn't get it through the field. It was a good comeback after that boundary last ball. in the air but Super that is going to be four timing. just too much just on the pads can't hit there any better than that drilled it no chance there for the fielders a little short on that occasion needs to adjust the length slightly to be just a little fuller too short on this pitch and as we've seen already it makes it very easy to score we might just bring them in a little bit bring them forward because that's a couple of times now. Just can't seem to get the ball away. That's the third dot ball. Good over from right Jimmy Anderson, just eyes, four off it. Didn't time it well. 15 without End loss. The over. Four runs coming from it. Australia are 15 for none. Solid defence, very compact. Yep, yep. Time that perfectly. Brilliant shot. Four runs. Got the head right in line with the ball. A beautiful strike there down the ground. Bit of shape on the ball as they let it go through. Tailed just a little at the end as it went through to the keeper. Obviously didn't like the look of that one and just ignored it. Well left. There are two kinds of leaves in cricket. This is a good one which sees the ball sail through to the keeper and not one that's going to rattle the stumps. Right. 
collects that one, simple as you like, inside the ring. A little late on that. No run score there. Look at the consistency. Added there. Australia are 19 for none. Got right in behind it. Jimmy Anderson doing a good job so far with the ball. Yep. It's great Very to have him back, but that back. is a beautiful Four shot for Paul. Didn't time it at all, but managed to get it away to the boundary. You can see how good this pitch can be for batting. You want the player coming forward, but it's a tight margin. Only a touch full and put away. Wait. Finds the fielder with that shot. There's a run here, surely. Oh, nothing there. Turning down runs that are safe isn't intelligent play in my book. They should be rotating the strike. Four runs added in the over. Australia is an over, but for none. Not really getting the chances that we wanted early on here. Left alone and through to the keeper. Slightly in the air, that. No, too slow. Onto the front foot and punched it nicely. Would have hoped to find the rope. Yeah, yeah. That's a good shot. White. Work out. It was just a little bit wide. Well picked up and let the ball do all the work, really, to push it down towards third man. Sure. Doesn't beat the infield. Took it out there, Harris. Broad just needs to continue finding good spots now. Shoulders arms. Well, end of the all there again. The 27 the without loss. Australia are 27 for none. Oh, that's in Perfect the air, but that is going to be four. That's Good the shot. best answer to any short ball. Get onto the back foot and pull it away for four. No interest in that one from the batter. Anderson will be wanting to hone in on a better line and length to make them play next time. So much better. Just can't seem to get the ball away. That's the third dot. Wait. Right in the slot. Probably hit it too hard. Crunched it straight to the fielder. Well, end of the over. Just four off End it. of the over. 31. Oh, Australia are 31 for none. So, I'll maybe try a couple of leg cutters. Yeah. Lovely shot. Maybe Good not. team position, but over pitched and got what it deserved. Onto the front foot early, placed it perfectly into the gap, timed it nicely for four more. Absolute bouncer coming in here. No, not a good one. 
I'm not sure what happened with that delivery. Maybe trying the slower ball, but just got it all wrong. Yeah. Good shot. A beauty. That's going to be four, is it? Oh, no, we just about stopped it. Come on. Why is he not throwing it? This is so stupid. Really, really good running from these two batters. Played it safe, though. Stick with three. This is everything. Just need to settle down. The timing's off. These deliveries are there to be hit. Time for call heads. In the air. Oh. Eight runs added in that. 39 over. without loss. Australia. So I think we're going to simulate a little bit of the action. Uh, we will stop after 20 overs and see what the situation is. There you go, Broad and Anderson managed to strike. It is currently 106 for three. As Wade comes to the crease. Good shot. Might go for four. Our fielders chasing it. They're not going to quite make Nothing it. Nothing really four wrong runs. with the delivery. Got onto the front foot and found the space to get that one to the boundary. the gap perfectly. Oh, that's another boundary for uh, the Aussies. You could see by how it whistled away to the boundary just how sweetly this was timed. Well, that was just an awesome delivery. Whiz past the batsman. The umpire says that's the first of two. Had to pull off the big dive to save some certain runs. Did it very well, did the keeper. That's the over. 114 for three. Just threw the shot too early. Well, that was just an awesome delivery. It whizzed past the batsman, and the umpire says that's the first of two. Yeah. Lovely timing. That was in the air. Will this one go to the fence? Certainly wasn't intended right that way. Out of the textbook, off the middle, and it flew to the boundary. Good footwork behind the stumps, taking it cleanly. No interest though from the batter. Over. Australia are 118 for three. It's an over from Chris Walks, not the best. Australia with a lot to do when play resumes. Three wickets fell, and the batters couldn't really get on top at any stage. Want so that's lunch time before they play their shots. And we'll be announcing the giveaway winner just in just after this. And the winner is 
Lee246, a big congratulations to you. Uh, he said he can only see an Australia win, unfortunately, saying 4 1. Root will top score for us and Lavishang for the Aussies. Uh, he st first started following the channel back in uh, 2018, I suppose, when I did my first Journeyman series on Football Manager. So. Awesome to see you win, Lee. Uh, get in touch down in the comment section today on or on Twitter or whatever um, so that I can send you a code. That would be awesome. So congratulations to you. Thank you to everybody who entered the giveaway. I really do appreciate it. So, um, yeah, massive thumbs up for that. Let's get into the second session of the day. And I think we are going to go back to the old faithful, Mr. James Anderson. Anderson, the right arm get medium us bowler, once again. is coming into the attack from the cathedral end. So here we go then, Jimmy Anderson. Oh, big oh, edge! edge. Big four. edge, but nobody was there. Wow, that was a huge edge. That was unbelievable. Let's watch that again. Thick edge, nobody there. Always difficult. But Jimmy to focus Anderson after what happened will be last ball. very, just got to stay positive very and believe the wicket will about come. That. And as well as we we'll go aggressive again. The captain is going to change things around in the field. We'll go very aggressive after Don't that. Don't mind getting hit for runs. What's important is to focus on getting the next ball right. This time he leaves it. Jimmy Anderson has got him under pressure here. He's putting on the pressure. Slightly more disappointing delivery that time. I think pitch it up slightly. Up to bring LB into the mix. Oh, this is a great over from Jimmy Anderson, but that thick edge. First ball after lunch. That was the moment. This time we're going to get one going away from the batsman. Oh my goodness me. This has been such a good over. Thought it End of the over. Them, but a fantastic dive to 122 for three. Maybe they didn't pick it up. Very late on the shot. Four runs it's going to be Mr. Over. Stewart Broad Australia from the other end as well. For three. Broad coming on, obviously hoping the pace will cause some trouble. Yes. Good really shot. good shot there. It's not going to quite go to the boundary though. Yes, keep up. A couple on offer here. That shot brings up the half century. 50 for Marcus Harris, who is very and solid. A good old innings. This is just the start. Australia definitely in a good position in this innings to keep building. You can understand why on that line they thought it was safe to let it straight through to the keeper. Yeah, starting to not get any sort of movement, which is a pity. Right on. Can't get that outside. End of the over. over. 124 Australia for three. Seem happy to take two runs off that over. It's 124 for three. Jimmy Anderson once again. Great timing, right off the meat of the bat. Good drive that. You can't fault that shot. Nicely played, and it was four runs all the way. Don't need to do anything special. Line and length is the key. So again, 
Jimmy Anderson just slapping to get into that good length to promote the edge. That's what he's looking for. A little bit of wobble on that ball and it's safely taken by the keeper. Not enough on it to entice a shot though. No interest in that one from the batter. Anderson will be wanting to hone in on a better line and length to make them play next time. Straight to the fielder. One to play away this time. You have seen it coming. So we're going to end the over coming from the other side. Good delivery. A bit lucky that's just sailed through to the keeper. One, two, eight for three. Some well targeted bowling in that over. Certainly something to build on. Broad from the city end. This is the thing. Oh! Gets that was in the air. Well, nobody there, though. A little bit short, not horribly short. Moves the feet well and the hands even better. I'm going to try that again. A lovely shorter ball, just keeping them honest. Still got a chance to use another one in this over. A bit lucky, that's just sailed through to the keeper. Short, fast, accurate when you get that type of delivery right. You just can't play them. No more short stuff this over, though. Well on. Quick onto that in the infield. Nice Yorker to finish it off. Oh, oh shot. Really goodness long. me. That goodness was just me. a coat of paint away from hitting the wickets. Great bowling. Deserved better. End of the over. Four runs coming from it. Australia, 132 for three. Well, let's see how Jimmy gets on. Yep. Oh, it's a beautiful leg glance for four, that. A really good 50 partnership. These two are looking strong. And it's going to take something special to break it up. Obviously didn't like the look of that one and just ignored it. Well left. There are two kinds of leaves in cricket. This is a good one, which sees the ball sail through to the keeper, and not one that's going to rattle the stumps. Oh! Can't be tempted to play this delivery. Huge shout. The bowler seems very confident with that one. Well, no challenge on that one. I think it was probably a little bit high. A bit of shape on the ball as they let it go through. Tailed just a little at the end as it went through to the keeper. End of the over. 136 for three. Down. Australia, 136 for three. Well, let's try one more with Stuart Broad before we... Gets onto the back foot the quickly, and that's just Action on blown. another 20 overs. Just sheer power off the back foot. Don't need to worry about running. A little short on that occasion. Needs to adjust the length slightly to be just a little fuller. Too short on this pitch. And as we've seen already, it makes it very easy to score. Erz on the side of bowling slightly fuller and they've been put away. Well, this has not been a good start to the over for Stuart Broad. Good piece of fielding to stop some runs. That was a good comeback after the boundary last ball. And Australia are playing well here. Solid defence. Very simple. Strong appeal.
Just can't seem to get the ball away. That's the third dot ball. Final ball of the orbit. Oof. Nice, solid defensive shot. A well-executed slow six ball. overs gone, so time to simulate now for another 20 overs or so. Let's see how Australia are getting on after that. And wow, plenty of wickets. Stuart Broad on seven at the moment. Goodness me, Stokes he is bowling well. The attack from the cathedral and, and Australia 2 or 5 for eight all of a sudden. Drives and misses everything. I'd say that was the right shot to choose, but timed it badly. Couldn't get the drive away. Oh, can Ben Stokes mop the tail up here? Yep. That's a good shot. Four runs for the captain there. Oh, is it going to quite make it? No. This is just stupid. It was I don't just know why, a little why bit that wide. Is well picked up and let the they ball five the work really to push it down towards third man. A little late on that. No run scored. Left alone and through to the keeper. Shoulders, arms, and through to the wicket keeper. Well, slower ball, Yorker. Why not? Well, well nothing left. comes of not it. Two ten to for eight. That one. End of the over, a good one in terms of keeping the batters quiet. Just needed to take a wicket to make it an excellent one. Right there. A little late on that, no run scored. Yep. Head over the ball, great shot, that's racing away. Just strayed a little bit to the leg side, and that's been thrashed away through the onside. No interest in that one from the batter. Broad will be wanting to hone in on a better line and length to make them play next time. Oh, it's edged. And it's another Amazing wicket for delivery. Stuart Broad. No runs on that occasion. Oh, what? Got into position nicely just too early on the shot. Couldn't find what? a What? What on earth? Some moves being made. Did it carry? Can we zoom? It, it carried, in the but field. because we didn't appeal, now between I'm, I'm and furious. I mean, that was so obviously out. The whole team goes up for that one. They feel pretty confident about this. Well, it's going to be a bit high, but we out. might as well have a little look. worthwhile sending it to the third umpire. Nothing wrong with the impact. Would it hit the wickets, though? Going on to miss everything, and a valuable review is lost. It wasn't a great decision to start with. Not surprised to see the umpire's decision stand. Yay! Finally got in. There was no doubt about that one. <laughs> Another one goes off. And Pat Cummins gone for 11. Down. Some good bowling finding this Stuart Broad and in ridiculous feels form. Like this is close to the finish. And now Ben Stokes steps in. Couldn't get it through the field. 
just through the shot too early. And this is going to be a very good ball and innings for us. Right. You can be assured about that. Perfect timing. Right. Doesn't play in the field. Just can't seem to get the ball away. That's the third dot. Perfect. Good shot from Nathan Lyon. He's off the mark now. You could see by how it whistled away to the boundary just how sweetly this was timed. I'd like to see them aim for the top of off now. As a bowler, you've got to make them play on your terms. Collects that one, simple as you like, inside the ring. Well, so you come back after that boundary last ball. End of the over. Australia are 218 for nine. Oh, big it. Edge. <laughs> Loud appeal. But it didn't quite carry. Yes. Oh, edge. another big edge. Goodness me. Hazelwood gets off the mark. A good contest here at the moment. Four off the last ball, and it'll be interesting to see how the bowler can respond. Oh, my oh, word, oh. how's that not a wicket? So close to the off stump. Really didn't get into the right position to play the ball. They'll want to continue targeting these areas. Right. Cuts that off well in the infield. Well, this has been a ridiculous ball and spell from Stu Broad. Left alone and easily through to the keeper. Just going to be aiming for those stumps. Oh. Maybe they didn't pick it up. Very late on that shot. End of the over. Four off it. Australia are 222 for nine. Uh, Stuart Broad looking very good as we go in to T. Jimmy Anderson is going to right ball the first ball roller. after it. He's coming into the attack from the cathedral end. And surely it's just a matter of time. Right. Oh, no! Big shout. No. Must have been a bump ball. It's very difficult to tell. Getting to where this is becoming a problem. It's obvious it isn't out, but they appeal anyway. Yeah. That's a good shot. Four runs for Nathan Lyon once again. Found the gap with ease. Wasn't the worst ball you'll see, but it's still raced to the rope. Surely that's got to be called a wide, it's completely out of reach. Here we go. Over. Australia are 226 for now. Stu Broad is going to be peppering the stumps again here. Oh, that's a good one. Confident appeal. Could it be? What's that going down the leg side? England. It's worth a challenge. A We've got two left. I if it's worth using a review on it, though. Nah, it's oh, gonna... that's so close, but the decision will stay the same. Not yeah. hitting a thing ends up wasting a review. Uh, 
It looked like it should have been the best decision a lot to closer. That. The umpire has got it spot on. Wait. Oh. Crying wolf is not the best approach. It'll just annoy the umpire. Yep. Lovely timing. Will this one go to the fence? Had all the time in the world to get in position to play that ball. Timed it nicely for four runs. Well. Stu Broad has been robbed of a wicket. Can we get him it back? Wait. Finds the fielder with that shot. Appeal. Yeah, that one was definitely going down the leg side. If you look at the white one, no point in reviewing that. With Jimmy Anderson. Hopefully he can get himself a, little bit of a wobble on that ball. It's safely taken by the keeper. Here. Not enough on it to entice a shot though. No runs on that occasion. Got into position nicely, just too early on the shot and couldn't find a gap. Beaten oh. on the drive. Well, that's the right shot to choose, but timed it badly. Couldn't get the drive away. Wait. Just threw the shot too early. Strokes it languidly away to the fence. A lovely shot. Four runs. They were so still at the crease. Just a slight movement forward. Fabulous shot. Lyon has got the big shot away this over. Now they can focus on playing the next ball on its merits. Well, Lyon Anderson watched not it closely quite getting any. and let that go through to the keeper. Four Anderson runs there. added in the over. Australia are 234 for now. Digs out the Yorker. We know eventually it will come. But it is frustrating until that moment does arrive. is everything oh, loud shout no edge there yep good shot no pressure as they found a gap really race between the well, wickets after it was changed away nicely a little square. bit because now Stuart Broad is the one going at Nathan Lyon. He's outside the line. We might as well give it a, a little Lola's appeal in case the umpire's feeling juicy. It's not this time, though. Yes! And that's going to be Big appeal. down the outside. Oh! Oh, nearly! Nearly, nearly, nearly. And Anderson gets a, a go at him. Again. Can't get that outside the ring field. We feel Anderson would probably be more suited bowling a Hazelwood. And he's bowling at the moment. Might be more suited to a left-hander. Yep. We'll get that chance now. A little flick of the wrist to get it round the corner for an easy run. This has been a, a decent partnership from these two. And it could be very crucial. Yes! Oh, Nice 
nice straight delivery, but it's just not happening. Well, that was just an awesome delivery. Whiz past the batsman. The umpire says that's the first of two. Oh, that's a terrific delivery from Anderson. That has got to be close. Top and we'll give it the way, final might review. Be risking a review if they're right. That had so much swing on it. It's all whether it was going to be too high. Pitching in line, just a case now on if it's hitting the stumps. Clearly impact in line, mm, not much to argue just there. Missing. And it's wow, unfortunate in close. the end, but if you're the batter, yes, still close. There. That's the sort of area Broad we need the city end. Jimmy Anderson to be bowling from. Broad now coming into Hazelwood. Wait. Straight to the fielder. on I think that's out it's going to be the same as the last match because he stood out of his crease he's gone and Australia are all out they've been bundled out for not many and at Stuart Broad what a brilliant ball and performance from him you have to say it we're ready wickets. to get this innings underway. And now, there's a huge opportunity Rory Burns time left. and Hasib Hamid come out, and uh, they will be hopefully uh, sorting all of that out in the next episode. I will leave it there, though. I think I think we'll we'll pick it up next time at the the start of our innings. So if you have enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more Cricket Twenty Two videos. Congratulations once again to Lee for winning the copy of Cricket 22. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.